a state of enlightenment. I use this word occasionally to describe a state what I usually refer to as a high performance mindset and there is a very specific definition around when I talk about enlightenment that is unlike you would typically expect if people talk about it in the context let's say about spiritual enlightenment is usually the there is the picture of a let's say some monk in a monastery meditating 12 hours and then is in this state of enlightenment or if you know the story of the buddha it's also an enlightened state so for me enlightenment or a more practical aspect of enlightenment is something that i can use in my day to day very very practical hands on uh, because there is usually work to do there is stuff to do and most people can't afford to sit in a let's say meditative state um, for i don't know 10 hours or more per day and so practically speaking then what is enlightenment and i put it put some bullets here to really make this very simple and easy it is the foundation is that you're connected to the uh, to the present moment that is really the foundation that you're present that you're fully aware and that you're not what many people do most of the day being in an unconscious state of mind like identify it with your thoughts about the past or the future no you're actually fully here fully there and if you are fully aware if you're fully here there is this state of calmness you're in a calm state of mind and with calmness comes clarity clarity itself again is a foundation for good decision making being in a clear state of mind and if you're clear and there is there is this level of clarity and awareness you can also tap into your deeper wisdom people also sometimes call it intuition and there is lots of approaches there and people were exploring how can you actually do this how can you tap systematically in your deeper wisdom and it doesn't come from the wisdom doesn't come from your thinking mind it comes from your deeper from your deeper experience or your deeper level of awareness and this is where this level of wisdom comes up you can tap into it if you're fully aware and then there is the concept of self-realization realize who you really are and bringing these things together it is what i refer to then if it leads to this also to the state of flow i think then this is the bring these together bring awareness together clarity wisdom bring it all together and all of a sudden you're in this state of flow i think that is a very practical uh, definition here as well because you probably have been in a state of flow you know what it means there is no time anymore you're just absor absorbed whatever it is you're doing and you're flowing so to speak with the activity what you're currently doing that you're engaged with and then when you bring these them together this is what i refer to as enlightenment so it's very practical based on experience a state of of being state of mind a state of being and this state can be quite helpful for anything you're doing so it could be let's say you're as a tech leader or a business leader as an engineer scientist it doesn't matter or even in your personal circumstances personal life the state of enlightenment is quite helpful because it gives you completely different perspective on things and yes you can get actually work done as i said you don't have to sit there and meditate all day it's <laughs> it's actually the default state if the mind is quiet if you're aware and if you're there this is actually how it could be as the default but unfortunately it's not 
the default state is the what I refer to usually the monkey mind, the untrained state of mind. And that's what most people experience. Once you actually get a glimpse of this, what I'm talking about here yourself, and then usually people get a glimpse of these things and then realize, oh wow, what's going on? This feels quite different. Yeah, then this is basically getting more and more into this also flow state. Right, so once you're in a flow state, it feels pretty good. And so that's why this state here of enlightenment that I refer to can be seen as a goal and mindfulness is an enabler to get you there. But then the problem is, yeah, what do you do now? Uh, going back to meditation, how often, what is the recipe for this to get to this state? And there are many people uh, seeking this state but what they forget is that the state is just here. It's just here right now. We just need to tap into it. And to do this, however, it requires some training of the mind. The mind needs to be trained. And then many years ago, when I was experimenting and exploring mindfulness for myself, and I always said, well, yeah, but this is all looks too fluffy to me. What is the, give me, give me some facts here. Or how do I know that I'm actually making progress towards this state? Or how can I get more in a state of flow? I didn't at that point even um, use the term here, enlightenment. I was more from a practical perspective, uh, looking for a calm state of mind, focused state of mind. Of course, I was interested in self-realization, tapping into intuition, wisdom, but I was actually mostly referring to this flow state because I've been in these flow states often in the past decades. They, f they felt pretty good and I figured, well, isn't there some way to get there, right? And then when I started leveraging technology and as a, as a scientist, I like numbers, I figured let's, let's measure these things. And this is when this idea of measurable mindfulness was born where I said, oh wow, there is actually a data-driven way to mindfulness, which worked very well for me. And so usually for people who are in engineering, in sciences, or in general, like, like numbers, like data, it works very well for those people. And there, there's many of us who like this data, right? There's others, they, they don't like data and everyone can, there's so many different approaches to get there. But this approach, approach is measurable. Mindfulness is a very um, systematic one and it works very well. It gets you from A to B. If you basically put in the effort and if you start a tracking, right? And usually I start tracking with your level of present awareness, your LPA. This is defined as the day, how the, as a percentage of over the course of the day, how present you are. And that number usually is quite low, but you learn in measurable mindfulness how to actually establish your own baseline and then setting some realistic goals using, for instance, personal OKRs. So the measurable mindfulness, um, I, ma I made it available as a training that you can sign up for and apply. And usually it takes about three to four months to go through this training and start basically then tracking and measuring and you learn the, the methodology to get you there yes you can achieve a, a very clear state of mind during this time so look at some of the testimonials on my website and blog from other tech leaders or people in general who went through some of the training to give you an idea of their experience because i can talk about it a lot but Let's see what others are saying that actually went through it. So I encourage you to check out Measurable Mindfulness and also the High Performance Mindset, which is a part of this as well. High Performance Mindset goes even beyond. Right? Awareness is a foundation in my model. Mindfulness is an enable, enabler. But then you can also really use mind management to upgrade your mind and you can use the science of epigenetics and an approach of biohacking to also upgrade your body. So it all works together nicely, but the pillar is at the end of the day awareness and that can be trained with measurable mindful mindfulness in a very systematic way. 
to eventually get you to the state of enlightenment that is available to you right here right now but you as i mentioned before you need to learn how to access it <laughs> that's the problem and then once you realize how easy it is you say oh, wow why why didn't i do this before anyhow i encourage you check it out the training on measurable mindfulness and if it resonates with you i yeah looking forward to working with you